Hey, welcome to the show. Take a look at this. We have six subtraction problems that we're going to do for practice right now. And each of these is a two-digit number subtracted by another two-digit number. Let's go ahead and do the first problem right here. First, what you want to do is subtract the ones. And when you look at the ones, you got to see if we need to do any type of regrouping. If this number right here is bigger than the bottom number, we don't need to regroup. We don't need to borrow. So we can just go ahead and take 7 minus 4. So 7 minus 4 would be 3. And then I subtract the tens. 3 minus 2 would be 1. All right. And if at any time you want to go ahead and pause the video and try a couple of these on your own and hit play and we'll check it together. All right. Let's go ahead and do this problem. Again, we want to subtract the ones. Take a look at this right here. It says 3 minus 4. That's like you have three pieces of candy and I want four of them. You can't do it. We need to make that number right here bigger. So I need to borrow one from the five and that'll be a four. And then this will be 13. So 13 minus four would be nine. And now I subtract the tens. Four minus two, two. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this problem here. We have a zero. Now, sometimes students will see that and they're like, oh, I'm just going to put down a four. But no, you have zero, like zero cookies, and I want four cookies. You just can't do it. It would be a negative number. So we need to make this number here bigger, even though this digit is a zero. So we borrow one from the six, and this will be a five. And then this will be a ten, because we added ten to the zero. Now we can go ahead and subtract. 10 minus 4 would equal 6, and 5 minus 3 would equal 2. Okay, I have another little problem that sometimes students might uh, be a little confused on. See this number here, 1, 1 minus 5. All right, can't do it. We need to make this number bigger. So I borrow 1 from the seven, 8, and this will be a 7. And what students sometimes will do is they'll make this, this 1 a 10. But no, you're adding a, you're taking a 10 from here and you're adding it to this one, which will make this an 11. So now 11 minus 5 would equal 6. And then 7 minus 6 would equal 1. Now I'm going to show you a little trick right here. Sometimes what I do is I cross this off and I'll put the number above here. But there's also another, another trick I'm going to show you. So here I need to make this number bigger. So I'm going to borrow one from the 6. And that'll be a 5. And if you just put that 1 right here, you don't have to cross it off and then make a 14. So 14 minus 6 would equal 8. And then 5 minus 4 would equal 1. Let's take a look at this. Now, we've been so used to borrowing numbers, but look at this number right here is bigger than the bottom number. So we don't need to borrow. So 8 minus 7 would equal 1 and 3 minus 2 would equal 1. And if you ever want to check this, all you have to do is take this bottom number right here, 27 plus 11, and then 7 plus 1 equals 8, and 2 plus 1 equals 3. And this number should match the top uh, two digits right there. Hey, thanks a lot for joining the show today. I hope you had a fun time. Make sure you take a look at my other videos, and I would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. That means a lot to me. Hey, again, have a fun day out there, and be safe. Adios. Bye.